It is time to bring in Ruth Epstein, our final report of the year. It's a Republican-American report. Ruth, of course, covers our area for the Republican-American, rep-am.com. Good morning, Ruth. Good morning, Marshall. Hi, Jill. Hello. Wow, the end of a decade. Yeah, thank goodness. Oh, another one. (laughs) The start of another. Amazing. It is. It Uh, is. Time goes. Well, I'm glad you're safe and comfy, and I hope we don't get ice. No, no, I... Be... Be brave and keep your keep, keep those prayers keep those prayers going. They okay. worked so far. Okay, just yes, rain gods stay and ice gods go away. Right. Yep. So another very quiet week as far as I'm concerned. Well, um, t- today has a lot of things if they go on because of the weather. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> the, the ski jump camp has been pushed up, right? We yeah, have it now. Uh, it's tomorrow and Wednesday. It's tomorrow and Wednesday. Everything stays the same except it's not today. It's tomorrow and Wednesday. Right. For Salisbury Winter Sports Association. Now, there's also a blood drive today. Oh, really? That's scheduled at the Sharon Hospital from 9 until 2. And I just saw the Red Cross van go by. Okay, so so, So so, so you can give blood. They're looking for all types, but especially type O. Right. So that is happening today. In your little town of Kent, uh, there is a photography workshop for kids uh, in middle school and high school, grades 5 and up. Uh, the Kent Memorial Library, Library. And, okay. and, and the Wasaic Project are getting together with that. Weather permitting, 1230 until 430. And the big one tonight is what, Ruth? The uh, boarding house meeting. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Oh, you had me stunned there for a minute. And yes, yes, of course. That's, I assume that's still on. Um, I, 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 when I've been announcing these, I've been saying weather permitting. Yeah. I uh, said for yeah. 7 o'clock. People will be able to talk, give comments, ask questions. Uh, the commission's not going to make a decision tonight, but they're going to listen. Right. And as we've talked about, this is the uh, moratorium on boarding houses uh, put out by the Planning and Zoning Commission. They've gotten petitions for this. Uh, there was an a, a outpouring at its last meeting where people uh, begged for this because they're concerned about these houses that are um, – literally being rented out. Rooms are being rented out. People are being uh, sort of squished in, and uh, uh, people are concerned about not only health, wealth, and public safety, but uh, values of their property as well. So, uh, And uh, what they're really upset about are the sober homes, but as we pointed out, you cannot use that, uh, that they fall under the Americans with Disabilities Act, so they're calling them boarding houses. Seven o'clock town hall. That's that's tonight. Now you know what I wanted to ask you, Ruth. Um, something very strange happened this past month. <clears throat> the Region One Board of Education uh, meeting was canceled or postponed because of inclement weather. Right. They never made it up for the month of December. They did not. Apparently, they could not come to <laughs> a consensus a <laughs> on what day to have it, which seems odd because I mean the, it was canceled early in the month. And yet they could not uh, get a date where all six members could uh, get together. Um, and we do have two new board members coming on, uh, so there's going to be a change there. Uh, the Canaan person, uh, Doug Humes, has left, and Brian Bartram is taking his place. And um, Stacy, uh, her name just went out of my head, uh, is taking over for Jennifer Weigel at Stacey Weiner, Stacey Weiner is, taste, is taking over for um, Jennifer Weigel from Salisbury. So uh, first thing they have to do is reorganize and, and elect officers. But it has to be a special meeting because uh, by the rules, you have to um, set your dates for the following year by December 31st, which they didn't do, obviously. So that. Uh, next Tuesday's meeting is going to be uh, next Monday's meeting is going to be a special meeting, and I guess they'll set the dates from then on. And it's going to be interesting to see because <clears throat> they're going to have a report from the uh, 111 Corporation. On, right. Uh, yes. That's it's going to be very agenda. interesting to see if the Cornwall representative recuses himself and just leaves the room while that report is talked about. Yeah, which was your issue at yeah. one of the meetings. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I remember you saying it's not just a saying I'm recusing, but leaving the table as well. But that's the whole thing. It's, it's not, I mean, she's going to give a report, so there's obviously going to be questions and answer sessions, so that's why I I really urge the board to follow the rules and, and have him recuse himself, leave the room, and have somebody call him in when, when that section's over. 
It's just about following the rules. I'm not I'm not uh, following uh, procedure. Procedure, well, actually. I, you know, I don't think. Uh, Quite honestly, I don't think everybody understands all the Robert's Rules of Order and parliamentary procedure on these boards. And um, Tom Hennick from FOI does come and teach, but somehow some people just don't get it. <laughs> but, but, but it's almost like following a recipe. You know, they, these have been in existence for X number of years for a yeah. reason. And they, they're, they're, it, it's, not, um, it's not as relaxed as, every, as, as it can look. It just isn't. Right. You have to right. have a fundamental structure. Well, it's interesting because we talk about this area, and you know, we can we're small and we know each other, and we can do things maybe a little bit differently, but not a good idea. I think it, rules are rules, and uh, it's a slippery slope when you do change things. So. Well, school boards are, are, go under under state state regulations uh, mm-hmm. because the region one was created under a, a state act. So the so it's it's not just you know you're not just a small little place out here you're yeah you, you should are, be following the rules yes. you're right so we'll see what happens at this meeting in yeah. maybe they'll surprise us and actually do it <laughs> <laughs> but that's next Monday we have you know, when we start our that's next real year time. yeah um, we did uh, have a story on the church in Canaan that's closed down yeah. uh, it was confirmed by the president of the board of the. Uh, Knights Templar group that owns the building that uh, the Covenant Church has left, vacated the premises. Uh, they now are looking for a new tenant. Uh, they're very anxious to have somebody come in there, um, and uh, anyone who's interested can uh, contact Brian Jones, who's the, the uh, head of the board of directors. Uh, don't want to see that building empty, and uh, so we'll see what happens there. And uh, we attended the Christmas uh, breakfast at the Methodist Church in Lakeville this week, which is always fun. Uh, it's a great um, coming together on Christmas Day. And as we always say, Marshall, it's not just for those who need it. It's for those who, you know, for company and getting together with people if you don't have close ones by in, um, for the holiday. All right. Well, Very nice. And all the food is donated by local businesses, everything. Mm-hmm. Everything down to the flowers on the table, which is it's really nice. It's just like the uh, Thanksgiving dinner that's held at the at, program house uh, in North Canaan. Right. Yeah. So, But, okay, we'll hopefully clear out the ice and get going and see what happens. And as we say, there are always, there's always news. We don't have to. <laughs> we think it's life, but it'll come. It'll come. Well, it'll I want come. You, we'll speak to you next year, Ruth. We'll talk to you next year, <laughs> and Happy New Year to both of you, a healthy one, and uh, let's see what happens. I'll say same to you and your same family. Same to you Thanks. and your family. Take care. Take care. Ruth Epstein from the Republican American with the Republican American Report here on Robin Hood Radio, rap-am.com.